In this video, I will show you how to use AI to automatically generate Google Forms for you to use for just about whatever purpose that you need. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Google Forms, and this is a wonderful tool. You should definitely watch my Google Drive tutorial and my other tutorials that are about Google Forms. You're still going to need to know that information. But in this video, we're going to focus on doing the minimum amount of work possible when creating your Google Forms, and that is to use AI to help you. Step one is going to be going to this web page and I'll put the link to this in the description below the video. I would expect that eventually this won't be necessary. You'll be able to just go directly to Google Forms and get started with the AI. But for now, go to workspace.google.com forward slash labs sign up and you need to read through this and check these boxes to agree. Once you've done that, submit the form and in most cases you're instantly added to the Google Workspace Labs program. Now there are some countries in which it's not available at this time, but I'm sure that will change in the future. Now that I've opted into Workspace Labs, I'm going to create a new Google Form. I could just go here to Google Forms and click Blink Form, but here is a quick tip. If you just type in forms.new, tap enter, you'll be taken to a brand new blank Google Form. Now this does not look like it normally does when I go into Google Forms. Why? It's because I opted into Workspace Labs. I can just click got it for this pop-up and what I'm going to do next is I am going to describe the form that I want Google's AI called Gemini to create. So let's say it's the end of the school year and I want to create an exit survey for my students and maybe for the parents as well. And let's say I'm a math teacher and I want to know what concepts in our geometry class were difficult for the students and the parents. And let's focus first on the students. Okay, so here's what I have. I want it to create an end of school year survey for my geometry students, create questions that will help determine the concepts and procedures that they had the most trouble with and the ones they understood the best. Also create four or five other questions that would fit in well in this survey. So instead of me kind of brainstorming other questions that I could ask, I'm just asking Gemini to do the best it can to come up with a few other questions. So I'll click create and Gemini is working with Google Forms to create this survey. Wow, that was fast. Here are the results. Not only do I have a good question here, but I have some really good answers that fit really well with the question. Here's a second question and another. Rate your overall understanding of geometric proofs. Really good question there. Confidence in solving trig problems. I like this one a lot. Rate your agreement with the following statements. There's a question about the teacher, homework, quizzes, preparation for the exams, study time. These are some really solid questions. Now, I'm happy with this, but if I weren't happy, I could adjust the prompt. I could click up here at the top and add some other specifications for this Google Forms survey. Okay, so include another question about our student teacher. I can click create form and it looks like it's done and notice that Google Forms is notifying me that I can get to create a form with Gemini here at the top. Help me create a form. I can just click that to get this interface back. Now that I have my AI generated Google form, I can just go through the same steps I would go through with any form. I could customize the theme here in the upper right. Maybe I'll change the color scheme and I could even choose a header if I want to, either selecting one of these preset headers or I could search my photos for a header. I could upload a custom header to use. I'll just go with this, click insert. And if I want to, I could change the fonts. I don't want to do that in this case. While I'm here, in the form edit screen, I want to point out that this is also where I could go to look at responses to the survey. And I could also link it to a Google Sheet. I could create a new Google Sheet or select an existing spreadsheet. I'll just create a new spreadsheet and I could rename it if I want to, but it's named perfectly in this case. I'll click create and here is the Google Sheet where the responses will be stored. Back in my Google form, in addition to questions and responses, you need to know Know about settings. There are some great settings here. I could turn this into a quiz if I want to. I could change how responses are collected. 
I could collect email addresses or not. I could send a copy of the student's responses to them. I could limit each student to only responding once. I think that's a good idea. And then finally, there is one other setting you really need to consider looking at and adjusting. Here in the upper right where it says share, you need to click on that and make sure that the form's editor view is restricted. You don't want the general public or your students or your coworkers editing your Google form. And responder view. You need to make sure that it says anyone with the link can respond to the Google form. Now, if you're using an education account, chances are this is limited to only people within your organization. So people with the same school email address that you have, but no one outside of that. And so that would prevent parents or community members or others from answering your Google form survey. So in most cases, you do want to click and change that to anyone with the link. Here I'm being reminded that I do need to publish the form in order to accept responses. So I'm gonna click done and then click publish. Here's another chance for me to change who can respond to the Google form survey. And I'll just click publish. And then I should consider how are my students or coworkers or parents or whoever it is, how are they gonna get this Google form? In most cases, you'll want to click here to copy the responder link. You can even shorten it right here and then copy it and then send it out to your audience. You might put it in a Google Slides slideshow or in a PowerPoint presentation. You might put it in an LMS or on a website, a blog, or you might just email it out to the people that you want to respond to the form. But that's really all there is to using Google Gemini AI to create Google Forms for you. One thing to be aware of is the Google Google Workspace Labs program right now is not available for schools. You can't use Workspace Labs if you have a school account, you're not 18 years or older. As a teacher, I do have a school account and I'm not able to sign up for Google Workspace Labs with my school account. So I'm using my own personal account to generate this Google form. Now one little trick, once you've generated the form, why not click here and then click here to type in and add your teacher account as an editor. That way you could manage this survey, look at the Google Forms, look at the responses and do it all from your professional teaching account. So I hope that helps and I hope that you'll spend some time exploring the kinds of forms that you can create using artificial intelligence and Google Forms. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.